Hi guys. Hello, can you hear me? Hi teacher. Hi, how are you tonight? Hi teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. All good? Yes. All right. Well, it's nice seeing you again. Thank you guys for being in class. And what are we going to study tonight? Do you remember? We were looking at past, present perfect, and future, right? So I said tonight we were going to focus on reviewing pretty quickly a short review of present perfect. Okay, so take a look. This is the activity we're going to do. We're going to start the class with, uh, with questions, yes, no questions in the, how do you call this? Yes, no questions in present perfect. Okay, so what I want you to do is first, I want you to ask the questions, but you have to form the yes no question form so for instance look at the first one here first one says can you see have you ever what is the past participle to fly past participle to fly Flight. it's irregular i'm gonna give you a hint fly Flu and what's past participle? Somebody's talking to their child in here. Okay, better. <laughs> talking about the college, right? <laughs> At the school. Okay, so fly, flu, flown. Flown is a past participle. All right, so your question has to be, have you ever flown in a hot air balloon? Okay, so if I ask you, Amilcar. Yes. Have you ever flown in a hot air balloon? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't, okay. Imagine Amilcar says yes, I would say, hey, where did you fly, right? Where did you do it, when? So I want you to ask more questions if the person says yes, okay? okay? I will help you with the second one, but you will have to do this activity in a group, okay? Discuss the, first make the questions, okay? And then discuss them. Not all the questions, just one question, discuss. Make another question, discuss, okay? So number two, what is the yes, no question, guys? For this one, how do you form the yes, no question in the present perfect form? For the first question? No, the second one. Oh, then this a play golf? Have you ever played play golf? golf? Exactly. Have you ever played golf? Yes. For example, um, Irania. Irania, have you ever played golf? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Well, let me see Southeast Asia, sushi, black and white. Okay, some of them you're gonna say yes. All right, guys, so let's do this. All right, let's do the questions. Right now, take a screenshot, please. I will also send you a screenshot. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna mute you. All right, so discuss the questions, do them quickly and discuss them, okay? Any questions? No, teacher. We're ready? Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. I will also send you a picture right now. And have a conversation, okay? Here we go. I sent it to you, and I will send you the second part. It's two parts. And we'll do this in group of, groups of three. Accept the invitation, please.
teacher, help us. We not. I enter late. Okay. okay. I come okay. in late. Look at the look at the sentences. We share with. Uh -huh, look at the sentences. Okay. So, uh -huh. okay. You what you have to do? Thank you. Is you have to make a present perfect yes no question and then discuss. For example, have you ever flown in a hot air balloon? Have you ever played golf? And then you discuss. Vladimir, yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. If you say yes, you have to give more details. I, okay. I played golf in La Gambia, in a mini golf, for <laughs> example, right? So you give more details. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Questions, present perfect. Okay. Have you ever? So. Have yes, I have. I sent you a message saying start the questions with have you ever <laughs> present perfect okay have you ever okay. played have you ever flown have you ever eaten All right you want to share share the screen somebody yes teacher okay go ahead Eduardo and I don't see you Eduardo and then Anna I think it's you right uh -huh, Anna I don't see you guys thank you I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Anna. <laughs> teacher. Eduardo. Share the screen. And let's do the first question. Present perfect. Well, Eduardo, you can help, right? Everybody. Let me check on the other guys. Which? The next one? Yes. Have you ever eaten sushi? Mm -hmm. Yes, I yes, have. I Yes, I have. Okay. But no. I don't like. Uh, I don't like sushi. I like sushi. What's really? your favorite sushi? My? Yes. The roll shrimp. Ah. Roll. Roll spring. Spring roll. roll. The roll. Roll. Okay. The one with rice. How yeah. do you call it? Roll, no? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. My favorite shrimp, one is shrimp and vegetables. So. Philadelphia sushi. Do you like that one, Eric? Which one? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, no. I recommend it. Try it. Okay. <laughs> I I went to in Los Angeles too many places for sushi, but uh, they were really nice, really good. Yeah, yeah, in Los Angeles. No, you know what? Honestly, I have tried like the best sushi in El Salvador, but my favorite one is Super Selectos. <laughs> that sushi is the best one. From Super Selectos? Mm -hmm. It's really good, yeah. El Paso. Okay. Okay. El Paseo I'm gonna try it. Escalón. Good. Yeah, that one. Paseo Escalón. Okay, so. I'm going to try it. If somebody says yes, I want you to ask more questions, okay? Like I did right now. Okay. Okay. What's the next question? Have you ever ridden an elephant? Yes, perfect, perfect. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't too. Not e I haven't either, Eric. Oh, either. Not even in your dreams or in the carousel? No, really. oh, carousel. Okay, the next one is, have you ever seen a black and white film? Yes, I have seen a black and white film. Yes, like Cantin Plus. <laughs> that one. Yes, On Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Every Sunday, I remember that. Oh my gosh. Okay, very good. Good, good job. Okay, continue. Okay. A black and white field? Yes, I have. How was the question? Have you ever seen a... Teacher, el, 
the verse in pass the right is rule. You need past participle. No. Ah, okay. Written. This is confusing. Last question. We have a problem because we can use uh, past simple. We can, yeah. change, we can change the verb. So. Yes, the verb has been past participle. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Not past. This is participle. Uh, so, when. Reading. Reading. Okay. Yes, that's the one. Uh, she he was accident in, in fly flying. Ah, este Pedro. Eh, correct. Eh, <laughs> all film. It is in black and white. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, have you ever won a competition? Have you ever met a famous person? I haven't. <laughs> no, no, I have never. Yes, me too, I haven't. Never. Me neither. Amilcar said me neither. Okay, me neither. <laughs> yeah, that's negative. Me too is positive. Me neither, negative. Okay. Not even a famous Salvadoran person. Not even that, no? Um, Amilcar, you have, I know. The mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Maybe uh, Luciana. <laughs> I think. Well, Luciana is famous in El Salvador. Yeah. 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 Luciana she was a well. Miss Teen. I don't remember. Miss Teen, really? Yes. Where? Nineties. I don't remember exactly. The okay. Days. Okay. No problem. Well. Next question, I guess. Uh, a strange movie for me because uh, the productors made the movie in black and white mm. to remember the the old years. Okay. In my case, I remember only the when I was a child. I remember to see a uh, Virut and Capulina. Black and white film. In my case, I don't have it. Girlfriend, Eduardo? No, no, I don't oh. have. And you, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, I. Oh, you you have a boyfriend, Anna? Yes, I have. And you, Pedro? No, <laughs> I haven't a boyfriend. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you're silly. So, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Good one, smart guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, do you have a girlfriend? Um. Uh. Yeah. Say <laughs> yes. yes. <I> <laughs> come on, come on. Say yes. Dudo mucho. Yeah. Exactly. Right, Eduardo. Dudo mucho. <laughs> Okay, well, sometimes it's good to be alone and sometimes you're better with, with somebody, right? Yes. So Eduardo is pretty happy being single, I think. Right, Eduardo? Yes, very happy. I don't, in this moment, I don't need a, a girlfriend. How old are you, Eduardo? Oh, what? Uh, How old are you? 19. 19. Yeah, you're very young. That's why. That's good. Good, good, good. How old are you, Pedro? Um... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Pedro, you hide I information. 
I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, don't tell me that. That's why. <laughs> and Jodi Jan, how old are you? Okay, guess. Let me put my best face. <laughs> be honest. Mm. Be honest, please. Be honest. Tell me. Twenty five. What do you think? Okay, Pedro. If you win, I will say you won. Mm, I don't know. Mm, Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight or yes. thirty-eight? Okay. No, twenty. Pedro, you won. I'm twenty-eight. Oh, would you? <laughs> yes, that's exactly my age. Oh. You're good at guessing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, the where gift? is Anna? No, I some know. I will share some mate with you, some virtual oh. mate here. Oh, That's your gift. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have nothing life. else. <laughs> okay, it's good. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. Anna. She All right, continue, scared. guys. Oh, she got scared, okay. I know. <laughs> I bought my cell phone. <laughs> yes. Uh, me too. Mm, cell phone or, or jewelry, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you saw? So these are the, the correct pronunciation pronunciation of that she said is ju jewelry. What she said jewelry. 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 Yes. Okay. El mismo read se usa. Okay. No, no, no. The pronunciation is different. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Oh. Read, red, what is red, the red. Repeat, please. Uh, red. Present, read. read. Yes. Uh, pass, red. Red. Read, read. red. Okay. Pass participle, red. 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 Casi como rojo. Red. Exactly the same. No casi. Exactly the same. Red. 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 Yes. But, uh, Present, read, pass. Control. I fail. Okay. Have you ever read a book in English? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, come on. Let's read something in English. <laughs> I tried, but uh, I don't understand a lot of words to uh, slow. Yeah, you have to read a book that is appropriate for your level because otherwise you get frustrated. Yeah, I have a uh, a, a book that is um I don't know, physiognomia. Physiognomia. Teacher, yes, I have a question because fall is otoño. In this case, in this case, fall in love. What the meaning? Caer enamorado. Es una trampa. Ah, Entonces se dice caer. Otoño es una trampa. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Fall es caer y también es otoño. So in this context, is caer enamorado. So meaning enamorarse. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hay palabras que suenan iguales. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. No, but that is identical. It's the same spelling, same pronunciation, different meaning. Igual sí. nosotros mañana y mañana has two different meanings in Spanish. Tomorrow yeah. and morning, mañana, mañana. So the same thing oh. happens in English. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. okay. Okay, welcome back. Oh, I want, I'm curious because I was not in the conversation, so I don't know. Simply tell me, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Okay, ready? Everybody, unmute the microphone and tell me, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever played golf? No, no, I, haven't. Haven't. no I, haven't. I haven't. Oh, majority hasn't. Okay. Have you ever eaten sushi? No, yes, I, have, I, have, I haven't. Yes. Like 50 50, right? Okay. Have you ever yes, ridden an elephant? Somebody, no, somebody? No, I, I have. No, 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 no. Okay. 
have you ever seen a black and white film? Yes, yes I, I have. have. Yes, I have. Yeah. Everybody watched Cantinflas, right? In the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever won a competition? Yes. No, I, no, I, I have. have. Uh, what kind? Yes, I have. It. Any competition? Yes, I haven't. No, no, no. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's okay. What kind of competitions? Uh, I practice taekwondo in karate do. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. What else? Who else? Who Be else? Careful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I won uh, orthography. Con uh, a grammar yes. contest? Look at you. Yeah. Awesome. You're good at grammar. What? Who else? Who else has won a competition? Nobody? Me, teacher. I won a competition of system. System? Are you talking about... Wow, really? Yes. So In grammar, high sports, and computer system. I won a singing contest once. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share a song with you later. How about that? That's personal. Okay. But maybe you wanna watch it. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. Two more questions, and then we will change topics. Past, present perfect. Now, future is the next topic. But let's finish this one. Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Who are yes, you? I have. <laughs> Who are I have. What did you meet? Oh, a lot. Angelina Jolie, Brad really? Pitt, <laughs> Bruce Willis, Will Smith, uh, Ricky Martin, Shakira, uh, Eric, Penelope Cruz. Where? Oh. Where? Where? Uh, in a hotel in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was working in a in a five star five diamond hotel. Uh, I was that's a server. Why? That's why. Wow. Yeah, nice. Interesting. Okay, yeah. have you ever have you ever baked a cake? No, oh, I have. Yes, I have. No, I have. Yes, I have. No, I have. Yes, I have. What's okay. mean bake? Hornear. Oh, okay. Have you ever baked no. a cake? No cake is cake. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever baked a cake? Okay. okay, awesome. Very good. Now look. Uh, next topic is future. Okay. So you're gonna answer with going to or with will or might if you're not sure so let's see that here all right so will going to or might might is if you're not sure okay for example um lenin are you sure about what time you're gonna go to bed tonight no no right I'm we're not, not sure. sure i mean it's that's that's it could be any time so you can say well, teacher, I might. This is future, guys. All right. Look. I might go. Uh huh. Exactly. I might go to bed at ten at eleven p.m. That's more realistic. Debería deber, teacher. Might no. is deber. Quizá me iré a dormir. Okay. That's like what it means, might. right? I might go to bed at. So pay attention. It's the same position of will. Same position for all of them, okay? You can say, I am going to go to bed at, you can repeat it, at 11 p.m. So this means you are 100% sure, okay? I am going to go to bed at 11 p.m. Or a will, we're gonna use will for uh, for predictions in this context, okay, with the conversation we're gonna have right now. I will not explain the difference between will and going to right now, but only for the context of the conversation, okay? So predictions with no evidence. Okay. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, so, or, or a quick decision, a decision you're taking right now. So for example, if I say, what are you going to do on the weekend? And you have no idea, but you make a decision right now and you say, you know what? I will go to the gym on the weekend. 
I don't think so. No, I know. <laughs> you, they're not even open. So, for a quick decision or a prediction with no evidence, you will. Is that clear? Sort of? Okay, but I want you to practice. Don't practice will right now. I want you to practice might. If you're not sure, and I want you to practice going to. If you are sure, only those two, okay? Um, let's practice a little bit. Might or going to. You only have two options right now. So let me show you the question. One student what is going to be, sorry? What unit? We are in section, section 4.3 right now. But we're practicing mostly past, present, and future. Okay. Section 4.3. Okay, look at the questions. Okay, one person will be student A. Mm, no, not this one. No, this one, guys. I prefer this one because I want you to practice in groups. All right. Um, let me see who. Eduardo. No, Vladimir. Vladi. You know why. <laughs> yes. What, Daddy, are, what you... are you going to do uh, after tell class? Me, tell me. I'm going to go to bed. Uh huh. If you're not sure, what are you gonna say? I um I might go to bed. Or I might go to bed. Okay, like this, guys. Right. Is that clear? Take a screenshot of the questions. I will send them anyway. All right, let's practice speaking. And with this, we'll finish this topic, okay? And continue with the platform. Ready? Okay. Wait. All right, let's practice with different people. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Uh, one second. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. What about you, Eric? I am going to play FIFA. In my case, I'm going to bed. Okay. At 10 p.m. Um, I am going to bed at 1 or 2 a.m. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really. I go to I am going to bed at uh, 11 p.m. Uh, Next. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Me voy a salte. I'm going to study. <laughs> what are you going to do tomorrow morning? I am going to clean the house. Okay. And you, Carla? I am going to uh, prepare food. Um, and clean the house. 
I am good. <laughs> I might go at 11. Um, Tomorrow go. I don't know. Maybe, maybe work in the platform. Okay. Next. <clears throat> I I'm going to work. Yeah. I I have going to work. I am going to work. I am going to work. And you used to sleep only six hours, six hours per day. Saul? What? I'm sorry? You used to sleep only six hours per day? Yes. Mm. It's a little time I went asleep now. <laughs> But you work, you work, uh, in your work you have a lot of activities. Yes, uh, I work, uh, I work in Monte Cristo in, uh -huh. I, I have, I have to, to travel, to travel uh, Metapan to Monte Cristo, uh, two hours, more or less. Okay. Because I have early. What? Because you what? Uh -huh. Because I have I I I get up early. Mm. But you walk from Metapan to Monte Cristo. Yes. Uh, every day. Every day, <laughs> five uh, uh, five days in the week. You walk. You walk. Metapan to Monte Cristo, and then Monte Cristo to Metapan. Sorry, I don't understand. I'm going to continue English in eight o'clock tonight. Excellent. Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> the night I'm going to watch TV for first time. Okay. Ah, what are you going to eat for dinner tonight? I'm going to eat the Another proposal because I have more angry to work. You are mute, Eric. Yeah, my kid is crying. Here, <laughs> 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 that's why. <right>. Yes. <laughs> He's mad. Why? You wanna go he needs the pacha. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Bibi. They call Bibi in English. Oh, Bibi. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's next? What are I you think? Huh? Continue. I'm going to I I don't know to study. The next one is what are you going to eat for dinner tonight? Um, I'm going to eat uh beans, dried eggs, uh frame. And 
And I am going to eat um, beans and bread. I don't understand. Oh, ah. All right, welcome back. Um, let's see. Carla, did you have a question? I think I heard somebody said, I don't understand. Sorry, no, I am right. <laughs> ah, now you know. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you feel? How do you feel with the past, present, perfect, and future now? Is it better? Yes. Yes? Okay. I hope so. All right. That was, that was just a very short review and for you to uh, refresh it and practice speaking, okay? But now let's go back. We're gonna go to section 4.4, right? Let's do the exercise and Mm -mm. Before we're using words like before in the past, all right? Past, present, so pay attention. Okay, help me out. Number one, eh, he said, Mira, there's more than one possible answer. I'm sorry, <laughs> eh, before the automobile. Uh -huh, or just one, I think just one. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, We need to use the pass. Yes. Yeah, because they're saying before the invention of the automobile, it's past, right? Anybody can participate, guys? The Who has travel. the answer? Maybe that People one didn't travel as well. from didn't as travel as from city to city. <gasps> hey, <laughs> that was a casualty. I don't know, I just put it there. <laughs> That's the answer. Very good. Number two. Give me the answer, guys. For the market, People or use this to shop at small, at small stores. stores. Very good. And it's past. Good three. About 500 years ago, people played their first game of golf. People played the first game of golf about 500 years ago. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, next one. People work more than work 40 hours a week. 40 hours a week. In most offices today. Do you work more than 40 hours a week, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Pollution is, Pollution is become a serious problem. Pressing continuous. Solution is becoming mm -hmm. a serious, serious problem. problem. Yeah, if you notice, the, this one is present simple, right? Present continuous because it's a progressive thing. All right, next one. Soon. What do you think soon is? Past, present, or future? Oh, oh. future. Most people are going future. to work at home. Most people are going to work at home. This is a prediction Going. with evidence, guys. Are going to work at home with evidence, all right? Okay, seven. 
next in the next hundred years doctors might find a cure for that common cold might find a cure for the common cold all right that's a possibility number eight Okay. Sometime okay. in the future, we probably it is in space. Probably it is in space. Mm -hmm. Tell me, we are going to die because a uh, doctor might find a cure for the common cold in hundred years. We are going to die. <laughs> Let me see. No, 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 not in a hundred years. Sometime in the future. In the future. Yes, the thing is that there is a cure, but the the virus uh, changes. So they, they have to keep updating now, I guess. All right, all answers are good here. So everybody finished this section? 4.4? Yes. yes. All right, let's begin yes. this one. I hope that tomorrow we're going to uh, finish section four in next week five, okay? Read the objective, please, Juanjo. That you will notice and practice in continuation in statement beginning with a time class. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize class. Using phrases? phrases using different tenses. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? Let's see. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to Two years ago, I, in five years, I. Pronunciation, notice. All right, everybody repeat. I'm gonna play one sentence and I would like you to repeat, okay? So if you see comma, the intonation goes up, period, down, okay? Pay attention to that. Pronunciation, intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A, listen and practice. Everybody repeats. Here we go. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Go ahead. In the past, in the past, in the past very few people used computers. computers. In the past, very few people used computers. Down. Up, down. Okay, next. Today, people use computers all the time. Today, Today people, people, use use computers people use computers all the, all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, in the future there will be a computer in every can you now complete the statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Okay, I will have some people complete this. As a child, as a child, I used to comma, play it with my toys. I used to play with my toys. As a child, I used to play with my toys. Okay, that's the intonation. Very good. Okay, uh, next, Sara Sandoval. You're on mute, guys, you're on mute. Two years ago, I studied engineer. 
engineering two years mm -hmm. ago. Two years ago. Go ahead, sir. I study engineering. Engineering. Two years ago. That's the part I want you to repeat. Okay. Anyway, next one, Eric. In five years, I... Five years. In five years, I... I don't know. <laughs> in five years, I will travel, um, for example. I speak in English. Ah, uh, yes, right. In five years, I will be speaking English. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah, in less than five years. You're already speaking teacher, English, Teacher, it's correct it's correct that in five years I will build my house. I will build my house. I will build. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, but the the um the purpose here is to practice the intonation. Okay, so guys, repeat after me. Five. As a child. As a child. As a child. As a child. Because we're sounding too Salvadorian right now, right? As a child, I used to know we need to use the a different intonation. Okay, two years ago. Two years ago. In five years. In five years. Na na na. Okay. That's the, the mm -hmm. second part. All right. Na na na. <laughs> One more time. As a child. As a, as a, a child. child. Two years ago. Two years ago. In five years. In five years. years I will speak English. I will, I will I so. <laughs> you already speak English as of today, guys. So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's do this audio. And this is the last thing we're going to do tonight. Okay. So do it with me. Read the objective, please, Stephanie. In this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercise. As you listen, you will de develop, develop, mm -hmm. skill develop. in listening for main ideas. Very good. Okay, so guys, help me out. We're gonna say what is the woman talking about? The man, the woman, and that's it. Only three answers. Okay. So pay attention, everyone. Get the microphones. Here we go. It never works here. Give me the answers and then we're good to go. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. Uh, Page 60. Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. All right. What does the woman talk about, the first one? Environment. Environment. Oh, the environment. environment, okay. The man talks about, guys, this is section 4.8. As of today, you have to complete section 4.8, okay? This week, we have to finish section 4, next week, 5, and the last exam. 
right. Uh, number two. The man talks about transportation. Yes, very good. And number three. The third Family. one. Families. 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 Let's send it in. Everything is right. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's take a picture. Everybody smile. What the meaning? Bother. Bother. What the meaning? Bother, bother is molestar. B O D H E R, right? Bother. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Say cheese. There it is. Thank you. Any questions? No. No. No? Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys, for being in class. I really hope to see you tomorrow for our last class of the week, okay? So, thank I hope you, you have a beautiful you. night. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.